did you miss the arbitrum optimism actors or even bigger airdrops that have happened in the past then you are the right place because you will not miss this next big airdrop and in this video i'm going to show you how to run the full network airdrop with just zero dollar cost where you can actually learn more reward me for doing this is by liking this video subscribe to this channel and turning on the notification button okay so let's begin the fair network is a layer one based network that is here to launch its main net and of course they could be doing an airdrop so in this video i'm going to show you how to get a Access to the fair network airdrop the first thing you want to do is to download the fair network wallet app or the wallet extension if you are using kiwi browser on your phone download the fair network wallet extension on your kiwi browser and if you're having a pc like me download the fair network pc wallet extension on your chrome okay and second thing you want to do is to have a discord account and the last thing is a twitter or x account don't forget that to like subscribe and turn on the notification button okay so let's begin okay guys so the first thing you want to make sure you have is if you're using pc you can just go to your google and search for web store or chrome web store and if you're, and if you're using an android you can also use the Kiwi browser, right? All you just need to do is to download the Kiwi browser and install the extension, right? So when you click on Web Chrome, rising a PC, you can also do this on Kiwi browser on phone. Then you go to the store and search for Fuel Network. Please, this this process is the same as the phone, right? Fuel Network Wallet or Fuel Wallet, yeah. So when you search for this is the first wallet you can see now official wallet for four then you click on add to chrome then you add the extension right this is very easy to do now that the extension is downloaded now it will ask you to create new wallets right to ask you to create new wallets when you click on create new wallets to ask you to agree to the terms and condition and you are to do just that okay so creating new wallet is just very very easy and what you want to make sure you do is you want to agree the terms and condition. Okay. So I agree to the terms and condition. And when you click on this, your seed phrase will be given to you. Make sure you write your seed phrase down and don't give it out. Right. It is your key to the power of your wallet. Okay. So after creating, after writing down your seed phrase it, you'll be asked to create a password for encryption that password is if you want to log in the access to your wallet on your phone right to prevent an external body so you can just make sure you write you type your password to your taste it must be up to it must have capital letters and special characters right and make sure the password matches now you click on next finish setup now once you once you've done that it will actually confirm it for you and we are good to go okay so this is the wallet now this is the foil wallet now after i've gotten this for me this is just for me because i've already actually used this wallet before right so after you've done that the second thing you want to do is to copy your wallet address you can see this is the wallet you can also access it on your kiwi browser extension for the foil wallet so you click on this copy after clicking on copy, the next thing you want to do is you want to get the false set for this for fuel network. Now, this false set, I'll create I'll leave the link in the description below. Make sure you click on it. Then that wallet address, you just have to paste it here. After pasting it there, then you 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 solve the capture. After solving the capture, you click on give me ETA. Now, this ETA is what you use in accessing the network, right? This ETA is what you need in accessing the network, and it is very, very important. Now, my one has been sent. If I want to view it on Explorer, I'll just click on this, and the transaction count will be shown. So, in this full network, what you want to do is you want to be, you want to be consistent with the actions. You don't want to just do this transaction once and leave. So, this is the transaction count, right? So, this is the first thing you want to do. After you've gotten the full set, you can now go to your wallet and check to confirm if it is there, right? You want to confirm if it is there. Now, for this one, you can see now, I have this here and it has been there. Now, the second thing I want to do is I want to interact with dApps built on the full network. That's the major reason for doing the airdrop, for you to actually interact with your dApps and projects built on them. I'm going to give you the links of the dApps. So, the first dApps we want to do is we want to try and swap. So, we are going to use, say, foil swap, right? We want to swap from one 
token to another on the foil blockchain so when you get to this when you click on the link which i'll provide as number one you click on connect wallet and it will ask you to pop up to ask you for a confirmation in your wallet then you click on next then you connect now when you click on connect you can now click on add assets right all these assets have been already added to your wallet so you don't have to bother about it so after that it will ask you to ask you to mint assets and connect the rest right so after you've done that what you want to do is you want to continue with the process by enable you to swap from one place to another then you can now mint assets so after minting the assets you can now get swapping now for the swapping you can swap you can only swap between two tokens which is the s eta and the da so make sure you swap this over and over you can do like four or five transactions per time and make sure there is a frequency at which you want to be operating the swap for me i swap every week right you can be choosing to swap three three days but make sure you are consistent with the swapping so for the first swap we want to swap 10 die to st eta please note that these are just test tokens you cannot use them now right so you click on approve so when you approve okay when you approve and then the swap is already confirmed you can now view it on the explorer so let's swap another one let's swap another amount you can swap another let's swap like 40 free fee to swap any amount you want to swap but this is very very important because we are trying to create transaction count on the fuel network if you are going to reward people for the edge job, they are going to use the transaction count and they are going to use the how frequent you are using the network those that use the network for maybe once or twice they might not get the edge because they are not consistent and it shows that they are only after the reward right so you are testing this for them and this is the first transaction we'll be doing the second transaction we'll be doing is pool that means we want to create liquidity pools between these tokens you can see now for me i've already created liquidity pool but for your sake you can just click on this pool for your sake liquidity pool will not be there so you just click on add liquidity and input any form of token you want to Add, right for this one i'll be adding 0 0.001 eta and it will give me an equivalent amount in die so that means 0 0.001 eta is 14.3 die right then i'll click on add liquidity so after clicking on add liquidity to ask me to confirm and check the details in my wallet right start checking the details in my wallet then i can now approve now i have approved the transaction right now that i've approved the transaction that's the second thing we want to do on the foil network. Now, the third thing we'll be doing is we will try to use other dApps, right? We want to use other dApps. So there's I'll provide the link in the description below. We want to use other dApps, other dApps of the foil network, right? Good. So let's proceed. The next thing we want to do is we want to try and use other dApps. A way you can actually do this is you can go to Google and search for foil network ecosystem. Don't worry, I'm going to provide the link. So the ecosystem is the leaves of dApps that are built on the foil network, right? So let's check for the ecosystem. Okay. Let's check for the ecosystem and okay, very good. So Okay, so the second thing we want to do is we want to mint NFTs. A bit, the third thing, rather. The first thing was we swapped. The second thing was we provided liquidity. The third thing we want to do now is to mint NFTs, right? So when you click on the foil art.io, I'll provide the link, which is the third apps, right? Then you click on connect the wallet. After connecting the wallet, you'll be asked to verify the wallet. So after verifying the wallet, you sign the wallet. After signing the wallet, it will actually tell you that your wallet has been verified okay now the wallet has been verified now what we want to do is we want to either buy nfts on this foil.io or we want to mint either way is actually very very good so let's mint let's create nfts so you click on create nfts create your nft right after creating your nft then you can just pick any any item from your from your files on your phone or on your device, right? So what you want to do is you want to create, you want to click on up, upload file. 
So after clicking on upload file, it will ask you to pick any file from your, you can pick any image. I'll pick in this avatar, right? After giving, picking this avatar, I'll just name it avatar Kura. Please make sure you use any other image you have. NFT can be any image. Then I can just, this is a very limited item. Any description, this is an item of avatar Kura. Right, so then you click on create. So this tells us that all NFTs are minted. Fine. If you are being shown that all NFTs are minted, the other things you can do, which is buying the NFTs. That is the NFTs that other people have already created on this blockchain. So you want to click, you want to click on this test launch pad. After clicking on this test launch pad, this has already been filled. Let's pick another one. Let's pick another one. Test public means connection. Okay, don't forget that like, what we're trying to do is we're trying to buy the NFT right here, right? So, okay. Okay, so, so the, I've already clicked on, I've already, you can see this, you can, this is, you can see this one, right? When you go to home, when you go to home, you click on public mint, right? After clicking on public mint, you pick any NFT. For this one, I'll pick in the eight, right? After clicking on it, I'll click on the eight. After clicking on the eight, the price is 0 0.1 it. Don't forget that this price is actually, you're actually getting it. This is a test net token. I'm not using real tokens, right? So you click on approve. So after clicking on approve, it's actually load and let you know if the transaction was successful or not. So these three things, make sure you repeat this process over and over again. Repeat this process over and over again. And okay, this is telling us buying fuel. Let's try to buy another one. Okay. Let's try to buy another NFT. Okay. Let's try to buy another NFT. Okay. Let's try to buy another NFT. Let's click on approve. Okay. Let's click on approve. So this is the NFT we are buying. And this is just very, very easy and very, very easy to do. So, right, this is already successful, right? This is already successful. Now, the way you can actually check all your, all your transactions on this blockchain is to check the fuel scan, right? Check the fuel scan. This is how you go about it. You can, I'll provide the link here, Foil Explorer. I want to check the Foil Explorer scan. So when you go to Foil Explorer scan, you want to, I'll provide the link, don't worry, right? Foil Explorer. So after clicking on the Foil Explorer, you click on the first link. Then you go to your wallet and copy your wallet address. You can see where my cursor is. This is where you copy your wallet address. So you click on copy. After clicking on copy, then you paste the wallet address here. Okay, so this is the wallet address. You can now see, uh, I have 10 transactions. You can see this one. I have 10 transactions and I have five balances. These five balances tell me that I have five different tokens in my wallet, which include the eat, the eat, the die, the BTC, and the foil token, right? So this is just the easy way of doing the foil art testnet airdrop. Right, so you can play around, you can meet as much as possible NFTs you want to meet. You can meet as much as possible NFTs you want to meet, play around, meet and meet. The major thing here is that you want to make sure that you are creating your transaction count. And I've already shown you this how to check your transaction count. So this tells me that for this transaction count, this tells me that I have 10 transactions. You want to make sure you have up to 30, at least 30 transactions for them to know that you are a consistent and a real user, right? So mint and mint, play with it, play around, and this is how to do it. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and tell me the next video or the next airdrop you want me to do. You are welcome.